Motor Week is made possible by Lucas Oil and TireRack.com. You know, there was a time when the only auto shows that mattered were those in Europe and Japan. That's where the new production models and the leading edge concept cars were always introduced. But with the resurgence of American automakers, U.S. auto shows are taking center stage. And it's in Detroit, America's Motor City, where you'll find the star of the shows. Detroit's 1994 North American International Auto Show is not just global in name. Cobo Hall's 600,000 square feet of exhibits comprise the only U.S. auto show sanctioned as a true international car salon. No wonder this year Detroit was the stage for a bevy of both import as well as domestic new concept and production vehicle introductions, as well as the presentation of the 1994 North American Car of the Year Award. The winner is the Mercedes-Benz C-Class. For the first time, 45 American and Canadian journalists and their print and electronic publications voted as an independent jury while C-Class won car honors, Truck of the Year went to the Dodge Ram, both representative of the best of the worldwide automotive mainstream. And mainstream is where most of the new domestic production models fit in. General Motors sprang back to life this year. From Chevrolet comes a heavily revamped 1995 Lumina sedan. V6 and two airbags are standard. This coupe bears the famous Monte Carlo name and an even sleeker reincarnation. GMC truck gave us the first official look at the stylish new S10 Blazer GMC Jimmy Sport Utilities. Sales began in late summer. Due months sooner is the Aurora luxury sedan by Oldsmobile. It's powered by a four liter version of Cadillac's North Star V8. Buick gets a two door version with V6 motivation as the next Riviera. Ford introduced two people movers at the market extremes. The Korean-made Aspire subcompact is successor to Festiva. Two airbags are standard. With minivan room for seven comes the long-awaited Taurus-derived Windstar. Front-wheel drive with dual airbags too, Windstar may be the first serious rival to Chrysler minivan dominance. Speaking of which, the number three U.S. auto company drew a big crowd at the official American unveiling of the Dodge and Plymouth Neon small car price, a made-in-America bargain of $8,975. But even wider anticipation surrounded the accord size JA cars. Due next fall, this muscular cab forward four-door is the Dodge Stratus. Or with a chrome grille and a few more frills, it'll be called the Chrysler Cirrus. Much rarer will be the Dodge Viper GTS. Chrysler has okayed the coupe version of its V10 Roadster for production in 1996. From overseas, Hyundai introduced smoother styling in its high-content Sonata midsize sedan, while Saab followed on the heels of its recently introduced all-new 900 five-door with two more variants. A new three-door hits to the heart of Saab's U.S. market, but it was the sleek Saab 900 convertible that drew the oohs and ahs. Porsche has already shown the world the latest rework of its 911 Carrera Coupe, but in Detroit, it too lost its top to become the 911 Carrera Cabriolet. But concept cars, those views of the future, are always the hits of any auto show. And back to the future is what Volkswagen has in mind with its Concept One, a 90s reinterpretation of the classic Beetle. Designed by VW's California studio, we're told that there is more than just nostalgia to this one. New two to the circuit is Pontiac Sunfire Roadster, a clear tease for next fall's J-Car Sedan Coupe and Convertible Series. Cadillac is looking a little further off to 1996 with plans to import an entry-level luxury sedan Challenger similar to this Opel Omega-based LSE. While Ford is only about six months away from U.S. versions of its European Mondeo sedan, the Ford profile hints at the 95 Contour. While over at Lincoln Mercury, the premise is very similar to the forthcoming Mercury Mystique. Even closer is the Lincoln Contempora to the next generation Continental. But Chrysler debuted what might be considered visionary auto show one-offs. The Chrysler Aviant takes aero cues from birds, gliders, and even the porpoise for an intriguing sport coupe of the future. On another corner, the Chrysler Expresso takes the concept of taxicab to a new humorous height. But for throwback fun, you can't beat the Dodge Venom. 
Lightweight construction with the LH's V6 promise 60 styles performance in a 90s kind of car. So many cars, so little time, but everyone had the pedal to the metal, Motown's World Motoring Extravaganza for 1994.